The table shows the results of a, of a restaurant survey. What is the probability the meal was lunch given that the service was good? So you've got lunch and dinner, service good or service poor. We want to know the probability that the meal was lunch given that the service was good. Since we were given the service is good, that tells us that our, our reduced sample space is simply this first column. We could care less about anything else because we know that the service was good. Given that, we want to know what the probability is that the meal was lunch. Well, that's easy as well. 13 out of a total of 28. So the probability is 13 28 that the meal was lunch given that the service was good. Again, it's just straightforward conditional probability. The sample space was reduced by ignoring the last two columns because we were given that the service was good, implying that only the first column mattered. The table relates starting salaries of college, gra college graduates and their majors. If E is the event, a person majored in health fields, and F is the event, a person had a starting salary of 20000 or less. That should be 20000 or less. So let me correct my little typo here before we go on any further. should be 20000 or less. What is the probability of F given E? And the numbers in the table are percentages. So we want the probability of F given E. And I like to write that out. That's the probability. OK, F is the, the uh, starting salaries, the person had a starting salary of 20,000 or below. So I'm going to write that out. Twenty thousand or below. Given E, which is the person majored in health fields, it just helps me, I think, think about it better if I just get rid of all the extraneous letters and just write out in words what they're saying. Okay, this is a conditional probability problem and we're given that the person majored in health fields. So what that means is the only thing we're interested in this chart is the health field row. We could care less about this or this or this or this and of course this total is something we don't care about either. We're only looking at the health care fields. So from the health care fields we want to know the probability that someone started out at 20,000 and below and 20,000 and below in the health fields would be 1 out of a total of 14. So it would be 1 14th. Now this particular problem asks us to write that um, back as a decimal to the nearest hundredth. I didn't include that in the instructions, but that's the way they wanted it. So you have to pay attention to the directions, and here they want it back uh, as a decimal to the nearest one hundredth. And if you'd write that out as a decimal to the nearest one hundredth, that comes out to be 0 0.07. So the probability that a person has a starting salary of 20000 or below, given that that person majored in health fields, is about 7%, 0.07.